The Indians were oh so close to winning a World Series title in 2016. They're back in the postseason with fairly similar roster. We welcome in MLBPipeline.com's Jonathan Mayo to talk about how this team was built. And Jonathan, a lot of these young players on the Indians were homegrown. Yeah, they, they've done a really good job uh, in scouting and developing both domestically and abroad. And obviously, you have to look back at uh, 2011 as kind of a, a key moment. Uh, they were able to get Francisco Lindor in the first round, and he's kind of uh, uh, the, the glue to that team already. Uh, but they also got Cody Allen much later in that draft. They signed Jose Ramirez in the international front uh, the same year. So, uh, three extremely important all-star caliber players all coming uh, from the, their amateur efforts back in 2011. There's not a lot of blockbuster trades when you look at this team, but Andrew Miller obviously coming over a year ago is still paying dividends now. Yeah, yeah, you could certainly say that. Uh, it was so lights out in the postseason uh, a year ago and then uh, kept it going uh, during the regular season this year. Getting him back uh, is, is huge and his ability to to shut down lefty and righty hitters, go multiple innings uh, if need be, uh, you know, certainly uh, will have a, a positive impact. And yes, they gave up two uh, big prospects in Clint Frazier and Justice Sheffield. Frazier's impacting another playoff team, so I guess this is a case of a trade that actually uh, worked on uh, on both ends. And then they were able to augment it, uh, bringing in a guy like Jay Bruce. Uh, may not seem like a huge deal, uh, but it, uh, he has certainly helped out, especially uh, with injuries that they've suffered to their outfield. Sometimes in the free agent market, the best thing to do is to be patient. The Indians did that last offseason, and they ended up with Edwin Encarnacion. Yeah, this is a team that typically has not been huge players uh, in the free agent market. Uh, you know, they'll go and sign a guy for a year here, a year there. They're there are very few free agents uh, on this team. Now, maybe they'll keep guys that they traded for and sign them to extensions, uh, but their ability to get Encarnacion uh, to that three or $60 million deal was a little out of character for them, but they needed someone to replace Mike Napoli. Uh, and even though he scuffled initially, he kind of ended up back where he's been uh, as one of the better power hitting run producers uh, in the American league. And, and, and that, certainly has continued and, and is a big reason why they're headed back to the postseason again.